Hello and welcome to this short introduction to the educational video production course that's about to take place during semester two. My name is Micah Donoghue and along with Cormac Lawler will be the lecturers and tutors who will be guiding you through the activities and materials that make up this short course. The course is divided into three different parts. We're going to begin the course with a look at some theory and some examples and analysis as to what educational video actually is. We're going to be asking questions as to what is the difference between video and television, what makes educational video, and are there any general rules for good video production. Now during this part of the course, which will last about four weeks, there'll be a weekly reading and we'll try and go through some examples and analysis to give you a good idea as to what educational video is and to set you up with an idea so you can go ahead and produce your educational video, which forms the second part of this course. So after four weeks, we're going to be looking at some production activities. This is going to last about six weeks and is a hands-on video production where you go ahead and make an educational video of your own choice. You can do this individually or you can work with one or maybe two other people. But before you get to the production, we're going to want to see what the idea is to make sure that you're going to be on the right lines. Now, assessment is something everyone's interested in, obviously, and there are three components to the assessment. The first one will be done um, up to week four, and this is a pitch. What we're going to do is put a document online, and we're going to ask you what your educational video idea is before you go ahead and produce it. That way, we can make sure that we're guiding you in the right direction, and you're not going to be wasting time producing something that, at the end of the day, isn't an educational video. The pitch is going to be about five to a thousand words long. Typically, they're about 500 words, and there's a lot of structure to this as well. So you'll be able to follow the questions, and they'll guide you through as to the kind of things we're asking. And once that's approved, you can go ahead and make your educational video. The second piece of coursework is obviously going to be the production video itself. So we're going to ask you to make an educational video. During the production stages, people will be doing different things and we'll run a weekly drop-in session. And what I'll do is I'll make a weekly report on video like this and we'll report the best tips and hints online as well. So you're all sharing the questions and expertise that's taking place. We're not looking for a Hollywood production, we really are just looking for a good educational short video that captures some educational aspect that you'd like to focus your work on. And obviously this will be a big part of your coursework. The third part relates to that, and it's a review in no more than about 2,000 words that gets you to think about your experience and critically examine that experience against something that you've read during the first four weeks of the course. So there's some analysis involved in this, but this report plus your video, plus the uh, pitch that you're going to deliver uh, before you produce your video will form the three parts of coursework. The final part of this, of course, is something like this. It's a presentation aspect. Um, if you make a film, it's nice that other people can see it. And so we're going to make everyone's video available to everyone else who's participating on the course, which will be the tutors and the other course members. Now, some of these people you may have already worked with and some you'll see in the online discussion spaces throughout, but everyone gets to see everyone else's video. Now you may be watching this thinking, oh God, I've never used a video camera in my life and I just don't know how to come across and I just don't know how to make video. So is this course for me? Well, we're really not concentrating on the technical aspects of video, but we will give you some hints and tips during workshops and the online sessions if you need them. One of the things that we'll hope you take away from this course is a series of skills to improve your video production. Um, these can be used in all sorts of facets of your future life, whether you're going to be a teacher or work in some other aspect of education or elsewhere. But we hope that the skills you gain and the ideas you get from sharing your work and looking at others throughout this course will leave you as a better video producer for any future activities you want to undertake. So that's a brief overview of the course and if you have any questions you're very welcome to email me. Uh, there's my email address micadonu at manchester.ac.uk and I hope to see you at the start of the course in just two weeks time.